The coast can be your best friend or your worst enemy, but to keep in its good books, there are some things you can definitely do. And here, I'll give you a list of exactly what those things are so you can easily conquer Shannaris like somebody bought you a red coat. If you liked the video, please leave a like or a subscribe, it really helps me out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. <coughs> Son of a... I think I just painted some fabric. The first and perhaps most crucial step is securing a reliable weapon. The coast is teeming with threats and while firearms might seem like the ultimate tool for protection, it's not always the best choice at this stage. Firearms are loud and can attract unwanted attention from both the infected and other players. Instead, consider arming yourself with two-handed weapons such as a shovel, bat, sledgehammer, pipe and especially the hoe because hoes be crazy. These weapons offer the efficiency and safety needed to take out the infected without the noise of a gun. However, if you do find a firearm, reserve its use for desperate situations. Opt for something with a suppressor if you have a choice, like a Mark II, or craft your own improvised suppressor with a bottle and some duct tape. This approach makes sure you have the means to defend yourself without drawing unnecessary attention. Gunshots can be loud and attract everything and everyone, sometimes from an entire town over but guns in general can be sourced in houses and police stations with the latter more likely to have SMGs and shotguns. The world of DayZ is unforgiving and injuries or illnesses can strike at any moment and sometimes every moment. So before venturing away from the coast, stock up on essential medical supplies. Bandages are an absolute must and you usually start with them. Disinfectant is also super important for if you run out of sterilized bandages because they treat stage 1 infection and tetracycline cures most illnesses you'll likely get. These items will allow you to treat wounds and stay healthy making sure you can continue your journey without succumbing to the gentle stroke of your cheek as the game makes you eat. They're usually found in hospitals, medical facilities or adjacent buildings. There are other medical supplies you can get and you should always pick them up if you see them but the ones I just mentioned are pretty essential. Before setting off, it's vital to plan your route carefully. Consider the terrain, potential dangers and the resources you may need along the way. Planning helps you avoid unnecessary risks and ensures you know where to find essential supplies. Whether you're heading to the hills or exploring the forests, a well thought out route can mean the difference between survival and a bear eating your nuts. If you don't know where you are, I have a guide on how to never get lost again, I'll link in the top right. However, I always advise checking out your nearest sign and using the I Survive map to pinpoint your location. This will let you plan a heading. Just like real life, it's very common for people to get disoriented and completely circle around, ending up back on the coast. A backpack is essential for carrying your supplies. As you prepare to leave the coast, look for a backpack. This will allow you to carry more items, obviously, so you don't have to leave behind anything important. Tools, weapons, nourishment, past childhood trauma. Backpacks can often be found in residential areas or even on the backs of infected. The right clothing is so important and is also neglected by so many players who just want to find food. Right away, you You'll probably start off cold given you spawn dressed in like a chimney sweep and this temperature can get worse to the point of illness, especially if wet. Well insulated clothing can protect you from the elements and increase your chances of survival. Before leaving the coast, make sure your clothing is suitable for the environment you're heading into. Favour good insulation and dull colours. Additionally, consider the storage capacity of your clothing as well, as extra pockets can provide additional space for small items. Really useful if you haven't found a backpack yet. If you find you're struggling here, maybe look for a fire station. They have good clothing, that are waterproof, with good storage and they're not terrible camouflage, although not perfect. But pretty much any jacket and pants are better than the ones you start with. Maintaining your energy and hydration levels is crucial for survival, but be careful not to obsess and overdo it. Before leaving the coast, collect just enough food and water to sustain you during your journey inland. Look for anything such as canned goods, fresh fruits and clean water sources, specifically cans of drink and wells. Wells also allow you to fill up water bottles, which is important to do as finding water bottles half full can risk sickness because you don't know what's in the bottle. Always pour them out and refill 
refill at wells. Water depletes slower than food, so having one or two cans of food or a couple pieces of fruit should be more than enough to get you to an inland town where you can get more food. Food is usually easier to find inland, but if you're new or a casual player, it's definitely beneficial to travel with a little extra, just until you get the lay of the land. One of the most important and often overlooked things is you really need the necessary survival gear before departing. A knife is an indispensable tool that you should never leave the coast without. It allows you to hunt, craft, eat and defend yourself. Other useful items include a tin opener, a map, especially if you're unfamiliar with an area, rags for bandages if you're desperate, sewing and leather kits for repairing gear and protective clothing such as a vest and gloves. While these items are not all mandatory except a knife, this is probably the most important item in the game, they can be a help if you're struggling. But with every item and task on the list, it's important that you know when to quit. These survival items are the things you need but sometimes daisy doesn't always give you access to everything you need so don't linger around the coast or follow it hoping to find a new coastal town with better supplies spend some time there and try to get as much as possible but if you can't just leave your main goal is to head inland staying on the coast for too long is not just counterproductive but it's also quite dull but for a complete guide on what you should get and when click here or for something else click here and as always until next time